How's it going today, my friends? As always, I hope you all are having yourselves a fantastic day. Welcome to How to Play Black Ops 2 Free For All, Part 2. Now, one of the main reasons I get to last, in my opinion, is because of my class setup. So if you guys would like my classes that I use, I'm gonna give them to you. Now, I'm all about the ballista, even though you get a lot of hit markers. All you gotta do is aim high. I like to use extended clip and laser, or dual band and extended clip. Same perks on both flak jacket and hardline, but perk one, perk two, toughness, perk three, tackle max, desk, Dexterity! Tactical Mass Dexterity. Oh god. There are two red guns that I'm focusing on right now. That's the FAL and the SMR. Because of my scuff controller with the trigger stops, I like the single fire. Flak Jacket is your best friend, along with toughness and scavenger and dexterity or tack mask if you would prefer that. Now, the thing with my trick shotting classes is every single time I hit a trick shot, I change my class. Every single time. If you guys want my current trick shotting classes, I guess I can just scroll through them real quick and you guys can copy them if you want. But every single time I hit a trick shot, I would change the class. I would change something about the class. Just just to try to make a difference. All right, moving on. Now that you have my classes, time to show you how to play and where to go. All right, we're just gonna be going down the list in alphabetic order, and the first one is Cargo. I play all the free-for-all maps because I get to last very quickly on most of them most of the time. I'm not trying to be cocky, I just know where to go to get a shit ton of kills. That's, that's it. And on this map, that is right here. If you are a good close quarter sniper, you can snipe, but I recommend that you use a red gun class on this map as it is close for Quarters battle close quarters battle now I use 14 sensitivity when I am sniping and I go down to 10 when I use the red guns now, the thing about this is is somebody's always gonna be coming from here because there's a spawn right outside there and right back there so they're always gonna be coming up through here and then there's one right over here so you sit here and you can hard scope there and then people will walk up there and they're gonna try to come up obviously and then there's one spot they can come from right here you can hear them climbing up see I always got my sound up so I can hear them do that little mantle and then you just look right there and yeah it's really simple free for all is a very simple game to play if you are accurate because all you have to do is just sit here and let the people come to you now carrier has two very simple spawn traps now if you sp if you find yourself spawning right here all you gotta do is walk up this staircase there will be somebody right there or they'll be looking right there because they think you spawned over there but then you didn't and then there will be somebody coming to that head glitch but I literally sit right here and I'll aim right there they're always gonna come to that second or first barrel right on the side and you just hard scope right there they'll never see you there if they do then you're shit out of luck occasionally somebody comes up on top of that carrier plane so you got to watch out for that and then right here in the middle obviously not as many people come through there but this is the main spot that you want to watch because someone spawns right at the bottom of this staircase you literally walk over here and see them spawn but you don't want to do that because somebody also spawns on the other side of those barrels so if you stand right here you kill somebody right there and then you come over here and you kill somebody right there and then somebody's over here and then somebody's over there by then and you just can't you just consistently fuck these kids up off their spawn that's all free for all is all i'm going to be doing on every single map is just showing you the spot to go that's all free for all is you just sit in one spot and you just fuck shit up. I make it sound a lot easier than it actually is because a lot of times I I myself fail and I rage trying to do it. I'm not guaranteeing you to get to last first every single time but I'm telling you if you practice it and if you do this a lot and you actually learn the spawns like I have it'll be a lot easier for you to get to last. Express is a very simple but very aggravating spawn trap. Somebody will always be coming up through there but the fact of the matter is somebody, you literally watch them spawn at that little yellow post and all you have to do is consistently watch that somebody will always spawn there but the thing that it is is somebody spawns right there okay right there so if you go right here somebody could spawn there if you have your back somebody could spawn there it's really fucking stupid now if you find yourself spawning over here you don't want to run all the way to either of the spawns there's a spawn right there and a spawn right here so if you're on this side and you kill somebody over here all you gotta do is walk over here and there'll be a person so then you walk down the staircase and then someone spawns over here so you'll kill them then you'll be at the bottom of this staircase then you walk over here and you literally just keep going back and forth it's really it's really gay after months of playing free-for-all don't ask how I was able to find these tactics but trust me from actually using them they work they do they do now this spawn is exactly like the other side somebody will spawn right there if you have your back to them someone spawns in that little building sometimes they go up in there obviously watch there and then someone spawns right that little yellow post always just be watching that and you'll be good now hijacked is one of those maps where there's only one spawn trap i i just sit behind this counter right somebody spawns over here over and over again they'll just walk up and they'll come right around this way and you'll fuck them up or they'll come right around this way and literally all you have to do is just sit here 
and wait for somebody to consistently spawn there. Someone spawns around this corner, so you just wait for that and you just watch it, and then someone can actually spawn right here and right on the other side of that thing. So all you have to do is just sit here, sound whore if you can, and just consistently, this is all you have to do, just look side to side, just look side to side. If you can do that, and you can just consistently keep your eyes peeled and watching for people, you should be okay, because it works for me. I know this isn't a sport or anything, but if you practice this, you get better at it. It's like that with anything. I don't know about you guys, but I love Meltdown. It's a great map for sniping and trick shotting, in my opinion. I like going for the ladder stalls and the window shots. I don't know. My safe haven on this map is behind this little white car. Some one occasionally spawns around that corner but the main one is right here as soon as you're right here and you kill someone they will most likely spawn right there and what you gotta listen for is you gotta listen for the mantling sound so if someone's coming up right here you can just turn around right quick and I was just no scope them and normally it'll work occasionally they come around there in the window and then a lot of people will be up in the middle now the reason people are in the middle is because this is the other good spot because it's literally in the middle of the map someone always comes up that staircase someone's always there someone's always coming around there someone's always there someone's always there someone's always right over here like this spot all you have to do is just run in circles and destroy people plaza is a lot like meltdown there's just a spot in the middle where you just run in circles and kill a lot of people that's basically it for free for all like honestly i'm telling you the truth here when you run around and try to just literally just run everywhere and find people it doesn't work as well as just sitting in one area and waiting for them to come to you i usually use a red gun on this map but if your shot is on sniping is an option honestly all i do is is just run in circles and look everywhere that's all I do I just run in circles now I know most of you probably know how to play free-for-all and raid but those of you who don't and those of you who still would like to know how I play it I'm gonna let you know if you find yourself on this side of the map this is a very good place to be because when people are spawning either here or here they're always gonna run into this building so if you're just standing right here, you can pop them as soon as they get in here. And if you're sound whoring like me, you can hear the mantle on this window right here. And you can just be ready for them and you can kill them as soon as they come in. And then obviously the fucking crazy ass middle when you're in here not having to deal with these people. You gotta be looking here here and here obviously and sometimes in the corners if they're little bitches moving on to right here this is where i like to a cap all you have to do is watch this one little doorway sometimes that one if they don't go in through there but there's one spot on the other side of this building so you got to be wary of someone coming in through there and there's one spot in the basketball court so you just got to be constantly checking everywhere and then right here you want to always be looking right into this building because people are always running in there and then right there and then all right are they yeah, a you literally can watch someone spawn right here in the parking garage so you just gotta watch that and then someone spawns like I said on the other side of the trick shotting building so they could be coming around the corner there and then someone spawns over by that white minivan so you gotta watch this doorway and then sometimes people come up this staircase because they spawn back in that building so you just gotta be wary about it raid is a very fast paced map and it's a lot like all the other maps it's just there's a lot more areas for them to be coming through to kill you you just got to be really accurate and free for all as soon as you miss a shot that's when you die all right for the sake of this not getting too boring and repetitive i'm just going to show you the spots that i camp i'm going to tell you where the people are going to be coming from and where they're going to be spawning and that's going to be it i'm not going to try to go too in depth with everything just want to give you guys the gist of what i'm doing this spot right here just absolutely destroys everything someone spawns on the bottom of that staircase so they come up right through there and right through here Someone also spawns right there at that trash can, so you just gotta watch them spawning right there. I just like to camp in this corner, wait for them to come through there, wait for them to come through there, and then someone also spawns right there. Now on standoff, I have one main area where I like to camp, and what a surprise, it's right in the middle of the map. This little wall is just absolutely perfect for you. Someone's always gonna be trying to go to that head glitch or up top. Someone spawns right there in that corner, and right there in that corner. And then somebody will be trying to come from the yellow house, obviously. Occasionally people up in the window and there's a spawn back in that back shed. So there's always going to be people right there. But this is just a really good area because you can come in here and reload. And, you know, it's just like all the other maps. Out of all the maps, it's probably one of my favorites because of that spot to camp. Because if your shot is on and you're an accurate sniper, it's very fast paced and it's a lot of fun. Now Mirage is a lot like standoff because you can get fast paced very quickly. Someone spawns right on the other side of this truck. And on the other side of that bus so you just sit in this little room and you kill them as soon as you see them then someone spawns around this little bend 
So if you're sitting in this room, you can kill them right around, right when they come around the corner. And then if you come to this little head glitch, someone spawns on the other side, those little square box thingy-majiggers and that wall, so they'll come around the corner and you can bop them. Now there's two good spots that you can camp on this side of the map. I like to be up top, someone spawns on this little building right here. Someone spawns right there, so they'll come around that doorway. Then someone spawns on the other side of that bus, so they can come around that corner. And right around the back of the building, so they can come from right there and from behind you. So I just like to sit up top and look everywhere, just like I do on every map. And you can do the same thing up there as you were doing right here, just watching all the spawns and slaying shit. Now that I think about it, Free For All is such a fast-paced game mode. I always say that, oh, this map is fast-paced and so-and-so. You gotta be really careful on this map, because people can spawn behind you, but I like to sit right here, someone spawns in there. So you just watch that head glitch, and then you watch that head glitch. Sometimes when I come around this wall, someone will spawn in this area, so you just gotta be really careful. Over on this side, shit gets pretty hectic. You can watch somebody spawn right there. Someone spawns right here. So you just sit right here, and they can spawn around behind you and such. And then someone spawns right on the other side of that wall, so you just watch that barrel. This is just the central area for kicking ass. Ah, oh, vertigo, such a beauty. I love camping in this little room and just popping people right when they come around this corner. Then I pop right around here, kill someone right when they spawn there. And then I'll walk over here and kill someone if they spawn there. But it's just that central area, you already know. All it takes to be good at free for all is accuracy. That's all I can tell you guys. If you sit right here, someone will spawn right, literally right there. You can see them spawn. So you just watch the doorway, they'll come through, you can kick their shit in. And then someone spawns right there, so you just hard scope them right when they spawn. And someone spawns on the other side of that little statue, so you just kill them right when they're trying to come down that staircase. You just sit right here, kick ass, you already know. No, I was about to explain studio for you guys, but everybody already knows it's. And yeah, that's all you need. Honestly, all the DLC maps are so good for free-for-all. They give us these little areas that are... I honestly can't think of them being meant for anything else besides destroying people. Now, you gotta be really careful because if you, like, run over in this part of the building, someone could honestly spawn right here in this corner. So I like to stand right here and I watch the staircase right there. And then people can come around that corner or they'll come around this corner. And then if you walk out over this way, someone spawns right there, so you can always kill them. Now that's the spot that can fuck you over, right? When you kill someone right there, don't go on this side of the thing. You gotta go on this side so that someone doesn't spawn and fuck you over from behind. Ow. Now most of you who play Uplink probably see people camping right here all the time because someone spawns right here, so you can kill them right when they walk around the corner. And you can kill someone right when they walk around the corner right there when they spawn. And someone spawns in that little room, so you kill them right there. And then occasionally some people come around, and you gotta watch them from right here. Alright, so for detour, someone spawns on the other side of this wall down on the bottom of the staircase, so you just gotta watch right there. And then someone spawns on the other side of that little tanker truck, so you just gotta watch right there. And then someone spawns through that little hallway behind this white truck, so you just gotta wait for them to come from there. I I understand why it's called detour now. There's a big detour. I get it. The other chill spot on this map, I just literally sit right here, occasionally walk in this little doorway, but someone spawns the other side of this weird trippy truck thing. So you just sit here, watch. Someone spawns right there too. The spawns are all sorts of fucked up over here. And then someone spawns over there, so you slam. And then you can walk over here, and someone spawns right down there, so you just kill them. Just walk back and forth and destroy everything in your path. Now, just like all the maps in Free For All, the spawns make no sense. So when I say you have to be paying attention to everywhere. I literally mean do 360s like all the time. Just constantly be scanning for anyone because people are always spawning behind me. So I'm just constantly turning around to try to prevent it. I like to sit right here because someone spawns on the other side of that palm tree. So I just camp, wait for them to come around the corner, go on this side of the rock, someone spawns the other side there. And then sometimes if you go like on this side, someone spawns behind you. So you just gotta be really careful and you just gotta keep running around trying to move as much as possible. Now the thing about making this video is I'm gonna merge to a lot of people who know how to play free for all like I do now. And that's gonna be a pain in my ass. Oh well, at least I'm helping you guys out. I like to sit at this little rock because there's a spawn like right there and right on the other side. I don't know, they're all sorts of fucked up. So I just sit here and wait for someone to come from right there. And someone spawns the other side of this rock, so you just watch right there. And someone spawns on the other side of this plane wing thing, so you just watch right here. Now, although Dig only has one spot, it's a very good spot, so use it. I sit right here, someone spawns, you literally see them spawn right there. So you just hard scope right there. I say right there a lot. Someone spawns right there too. And someone spawns right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there! Ugh. 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 
I'm so tired, man. Stretching feels good. All right, I spawned right where I needed to be. Pod, I get a lot of great leads on this map because someone spawns right on the other side of this, so I just sit right here and kill them right away. And then someone spawns right on the other side of this wall, so I kill them right away. And then people come through the middle, so I kill them. And this is just the spot where you want to start kicking some people's butts, okay? Last but not least, we have takeoff. Now, on this map, I like to camp right here in this corner. I can't stop saying right here. Fuck me. Guy spawns right where I just was, right? That little light, so you just you kill them literally right as they spawn. Then people come right around that corner, and then I walk in this little room, kill anybody in the middle, and I just sound whore and listen for my enemies. Moving onward to the second little spot, if you don't want to run over there, because if you don't want to die, you can just kill people from right on that spawn right there. And right there, right there, right there, we're done saying right there because this is done! Thank you all very much for watching today's video, my friends. If you enjoyed it and would like to leave a like, you know it would make my day. Have yourselves a fantastic day, a farewell, and a goodbye. I hope I helped you bros, what? You take a second and you look at that. You see all these little cuts? Look at that! Look at all of those little cuts for the video. That is this video you're watching right now. I took my time with this video. I put my heart into it.